guys, happy Sunday. It is actually late afternoon because I just was very industrious this morning and decided to take on a whole big clean, like deep clean and declutter and I just got in the zone and now it feels so good. Is anyone else like this when you do a big clean declutter and freshen up your space, get rid of you know stuff and dust stuff off? Do you ever just kind of want to linger there? Like you feel, I don't know, like it's somehow more peaceful zen. I always do. I love, I love tidying up. Headed out to Walmart because I need a new broom. It's a beautiful day out though. So later on, after I go to Walmart, I am gonna go around and look at Halloween decorations because it's a nice day and people really go all out with the Halloween decorations. In fact, there's this one house. I hope they, I hope they put out, they go all out. I also need a car wash, but I don't think we're gonna have time to do that today because I dawdled too much. Well, I wouldn't say dawdled, but I got sidetracked. Um, yeah, I looked up and I was like, oh my God, I've been doing this for how many hours? Like three to four hours. And I was like, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be vlogging today. Uh, we are here. One thing I have to say was a smart move on the part of Walmart was switching out their signs because when I, back in the day, they used to have these light up signs, but the bulb would always burn out and it'd be like Almart. <laughs> Again, the Halloween candy shortage talk was complete BS as predicted. Although, it doesn't have gotten expensive. $17. They have little pumpkins for $20. I have one of those carts with a sticky wheel. Mm. I have holiday shirts. Oh, snap. So Walmart has the Aquation body lotion and body wash with ceramides. They also have, it's in the baby section, but everything Aquation I've ever tried, I love. This anti-chafe cream, great if you get irritation and skin folds. Walmart is competing with Target with the little mini beauty finds here. Nine dollars is that nine dollars? The Incredi peel from Bliss 10% glycolic acid, powerful overnight facial spa quality peel, orange flower water might be irritating. Licorice root can be helpful for redness and hyperpigmentation. You have to be careful though, it's hard to predict like how, how potent that is. It kind of just depends on the overall formulation of this. The free acid value and whatnot. What is this? Un germ fighting under eye pads? Are we, are we to the point now where we're like worried about germs under our eyes? It's really, well, we should be more worried about the fragrance in this, which can be irritating on the thin eyelid skin. Here's another product, the Depuffing Protecting Eye Cream, Collagen and Aloe. Uh, peptides, the collagen, the peptide, those can help hydrate. Check out Walmart, it's got this mini sample of the Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser. Looks like somebody opened that unfortunately. The CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion, a travel size. True Skin, I reviewed their vitamin C serum. Looks like this is their hyaluronic acid serum with MSM. I have a video on MSM and skincare. Anti-inflammatory. What is this? Strike Club Power, Power Wash Face First. Designed for the unique issues teens face. That's some interesting branding. <laughs> Seems like any other face wash. Freeman's Sleepy Time Whipped Eye Mask for tired and puffy eyes. Hmm. Looks just like it's moisturizing. Beauty Space Jasmine and Rose Hand Cream. They even have the Mario Badescu stuff. Man, Mario is really lost lost its edge back in the day that was all the rage but you hardly hear anybody talk about it anymore since i've been on youtube i feel like there's certain brands that nobody talks about anymore and that are kind of dying and that's one of them another one is um, 
Drunk Elephant. I do not hear Drunk Elephant getting the hype that it did when I started on YouTube. I also really don't hear people talking about Good Molecules, which is unfortunate because they had some good products. Curls for Days, Moisture Rich Curl Cream. Man, Walmart's got a good travel sample section. These are much cheaper at the Dollar Tree, though, I think. They're $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Here they're $3, although they have different ones. That doesn't look like it would hold up too well. Something new in the realm of sunscreen here. Stands out to me. What is this? Wood Barrel Bourbon Men's Natural Soap. Mm, okay. That looks like it would be good to use on your face before shaving to soften the beard hairs. I think Burt's Bees has an SPF 30 calming day lotion. That's new, I haven't seen that. Burt's Bees usually puts essential oils in there, so. This one is a mineral sunscreen, zinc oxide. I'm not seeing any fragrance. Let me know if you've tried this. SPF 30 calming day lotion. They also have a non-SPF version. Sodium hyaluronate, saccharomyces. These are new. I haven't seen these. And then they have the calming night cream. Probably just a thicker version of the lotion. What is this? A scalp gua sha? I have not seen that. Have you guys? I have a video talking about gua sha, by the way. But I haven't seen the specific scalp in there. Check out the packaging on these lip balms. I'm guessing with strawberry, mango, and key lime, they have flavorants, which are common irritants in lip balms, but... That's cute. There's also cactus, these little alien uh, skulls, lip scrubs. These are not helpful because there's nothing to scrub off of your lips. There's like no stratum corneum there. Uh, you know, if you have that dry flaky stuff, just put Vaseline on it. It'll help soften it and it'll naturally slough off without agitating the moisture barrier. What are these bath petals? Ooh, those are pretty. Lavender scent. That would be fun to put in a bath. That would be fun to take like if you stay in a hotel that has one of those big tubs. You take that. Although I've never taken a bath in a hotel. Have you guys? I'm always kind of leery. Oh, aren't these cute PJs? They're a really nice fabric. Like my doll. They're on clearance. Seven bucks. Anyone want to dress up like Mrs. Claus? You could wear like a black long sleeve shirt underneath. Oh, it's got a little elf hoodie too. It's kind of cute. $22.98. More of those pajamas. Here's another holiday sweater that comes with a headband. I don't have that active of a social life that I need that. Shiny, shiny. These look nice. Fleece crew neck sweatshirts. Uh oh, accident in aisle H43. I don't know what that is, but I don't want to find out. Party going on in the back. Walmart's turning into a club. I came down here because I'm looking for that bloom. Do they? Do these still exist? The Papasan chair? Don't do it. If you were thinking about getting one of these, don't. They are not comfortable. Well, at least the one I had back in the day was not comfortable. I had it in my head. I had to have one. came from Pier One. It was not inexpensive. I remember it being a pricey chair, and so I was sort of stuck with it. And the annoying thing is, like, this bowl, it, it's always flopping off of the base. Don't get a Papasan chair. Likewise, don't get a futon. If you were thinking of purchasing a futon, don't do it. They're not comfortable as a, as a seat or as something to, for you to sleep on. Um, they should just, like how futons and papasan chairs continue to exist is mind blowing to me. Let's see, here's a mini, mini papasan saucer chair. They were called papasan chairs back in the day, but now I guess we're calling them saucer chairs, rebranding something that's just miserable. Speaking of something that, see, something that rightfully went away, although I was always tempted by them, was water beds. Do you guys remember when they were having their heyday? And it was like the ultimate luxury. I had a friend who had a, um, who, who had a water bed. 
and they're not my understanding is they're not the best thing for your back but man they were so much fun but those you don't see anymore that was like something rich kids had water beds that and an ice dispenser that was built into the door of the refrigerator you knew you were you knew you were having a sleep over it at, at Richie Rich ha, Rich's house if they had that or if their parents drove a car that had a sunroof these were these were markers in my mind as a child of wealth now I drive a car with a sunroof and I never ever use it <laughs> I forget I have it up there I came over here to the oatmeal section because I like to have some instant oatmeal on hand and look at this they figured out a way to ruin oatmeal with marshmallows they also have the cinnamon toast crunch one what does that have in it just the cinnamon dust topping interesting seems like you could just make cinnamon sugar and put it on your oatmeal um, they don't have plain instant oatmeal Man, canned pumpkin has gotten expensive too. Two sixty-two, and you know Walmart is the cheapest, at least for Libby's, the brand name. Do they have a great value pumpkin? No. Frigidaire mini fridge. That's kind of cute. Um, I have a video talking about these for skincare. No, you don't need one. I mean, unless that's just your thing and you enjoy it. But y'all know I love my drinks, and I love cold drinks, and this would be fun to have in my bedroom. But. Yeah, I don't think I need that. But that's cute. This Gallons microwave oven. I like the colors on that. There is a lot of competition with the Ninja air fryer. Like now you've got this Gormia food station. Um, if you want to have your own, I don't know, food competition. I, I can't see too many occasions where this would be that helpful. George Foreman has really come a long way. I used to have a George Foreman in college. It was this little thing. It was kind of a pain to clean, if I remember correctly. Yankee candles here. Some promising scents. Holiday countdown collection. Twinkling lights. Let's give this a whiff. Ooh, that is not good. It smells nothing like the holidays. It kind of just smells like, like laundry detergent. I like the Yankee candle plug-in diffuser thing. Little apple. Ooh, banana nut bread. Mm, not too, not too convincing. These are cute. These little jar ones. Pick the patch. I just took a whiff of porch swing. Kind of like an anthropology store smell. This salted caramel butterscotch is nice. All right, banana nut bread actually had a redemption when I smelled it in a jar. It has a strong walnut banana scent. The banana's light, which I think is nice in a candle. Y'all, I'm torn. I went ahead and got um, apple pumpkin because that is too good. But I'm actually kind of tempted to get the banana nut too. I just gave porch swing another whiff and it has a distinct undertone of um, sweet tea. And Walmart has already started putting out the Christmas decorations, including the inflatables. I like that Hawaiian Santa in the background there. There's a whole aisle here too. Ornaments. And a red truck. Well, I'm pretty happy with the broom I snagged. It's an O-Cedar Pet Pro. I guess it's designed to move pet, uh, remove pet hair, but what I really liked is, see how the, the dustpan you can hold steady with your foot? I thought that was a nice design, so. And I like that it's uh, metal. I'm back. So I went with the Mainstays Apple Pumpkin. This smells delicious. You get the pumpkin and the apple scents definitely coming through with a hint of brown sugar and cinnamon. And while on initial whiff, I was not into this, the walnut, brown sugar, and hint of banana definitely come through when you give out a whiff in the jar. So I got that. And I got some of these self-adhesive hooks. Although these inevitably end up falling down. You would think I learned I would learn my lesson after having things crash numerous times, but here we are again.
think of those Halloween decorations, there's something right. That house goes all out. And I always try and make a point to go over there and check it out every year. I think I missed the past couple of years. But yeah, they do a really good job. And I want, I've never gone at nighttime though to see what it looks like at night. Like if they, if they have some kind of, I'm just coming in with the Fade Away Brightening Serum from May Love. This is my second bottle, BT Dubs. I'm wondering if they have some kind of animated, you know, light up thing or something. It's pretty creepy. When I was a child, that would have terrified me. But I, I learned it from a young age though, not to be terrified of stuff like that. I don't know if it's something in my brain. I just, I really was not too much of a scaredy cat. I was more terrified of actual people, you know, serial killers, kidnappers, because of Unsolved Mysteries. Man, that show used to get in my head. Anybody else watch that? That man's voice, it was just like, to me, the thing that was most terrifying was that they were unsolved mysteries. Like somewhere there was just like, a murderer or you know a e creepy person hanging out not in jail locked away waiting to oh my gosh this is probably a really scary thing for me to say but that used to as a child that used to really like i was convinced that the creepy person the scary person was going to come for me next really that show terrified me as a kid because it's you know something that was definitely a reality you know a potential reality not like you know, a skeleton popping up with a bunch of blood and gore all over its face. I knew that wasn't, that wasn't a reality. All right, I am all dressed. I do think we put far too much emphasis on looks. And it, it you know, I think especially with like the dating apps and stuff, I feel like people have just gotten, they focus too much on the appearance. I think there needs to be a dating app it's almost like a matchmaking system where you, this would never work out where you put in you fill out all of the information or whatever things that are you know what you're actually looking for in somebody and you know your values all those kinds of things similar to what you fill out in a dating profile um, but there would be no pictures and instead you would be matched with like three people I think that would be really cool, but people, you know, I don't know that people would go on a date with somebody. You would be matched, you would know, you'd be able to look up and talk to them, interact with them, but you would not know what they look like. This would eliminate the issue that a lot of people who do online dating face of uh, being catfished. There wouldn't be any catfishing, and catfishing is where they use like a, pro a profile photo and pretend to be somebody they're not. I guess they could catfish you in terms of their biography, but not appearance. I think it would really, I don't know, be more, you'd at least have the chance to make that first impression and allow your personality to shine through more than just whatever photograph that you happen to have. I, I think judging people so much based on a photograph and a profile, I just don't think it's the way, the way to go. I think it's very limiting. All right, y'all, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing the Halloween decorations and you're getting excited. Halloween is what? Next weekend? Woohoo! Comment below if you're dressing up or um, what are you going to do? Are you going to just hang out on the, on the couch, <laughs> hang out and watch a movie? Let me know. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.